While most people traveling to go see loved ones went by car, many also flew. The result is a dramatic change from what we saw at airports last year. TSA expects to screen about 20 million passengers during the Thanksgiving holiday period. That compares to 1 million people last year when we were still in the depths of the pandemic, of course. All of that means a lot more of emotional reunions, of course, at airports across the country. WCPO 9 News reporter Kendria LaFleur was at CVG tonight as families reunited for Thanksgiving. Many people have packed their bags traveling for a long overdue visit to see their loved ones. The first for some since the pandemic began. We're excited. It's going to be great to spend time with family. Last Thanksgiving was a little a little sad for Chandra McDonald and her family. They're thankful this Thanksgiving to travel again, coming in from Texas to visit family. Last year for Thanksgiving, Christmas, we didn't really travel much anywhere. And so this year, this is kind of the first time that we've gone for the holidays. For some, this year also brings relief. I did come here last year, but we were all so anxious about it. Um, you know, we quarantined beforehand and everything, but um, there was a lot of back and forth, like, should we just cancel it? Should we do it over Zoom? This year, all of us being vaccinated, most of us, I think, actually have had our booster. So um, much more relaxed, for sure. Triple A predicts 53.4 million people are traveling for the holiday, up 13% from 2020. It's a special time that's bringing reunions and a sense of normalcy. Seeing everyone being all together, it's going to be awesome. Reporting at CVG, Kendra LaFleur, WCPO 9 News.